Hello everyone, welcome to the 1770 Vantage video. The tune is 8, 7, 10, 10 for a rank of 1768. So, if you couldn't tell already, I, I don't really know what these videos are. They're kind of old when I'm commentating them, so yeah, I don't know what's going on. Uh, all I do know is that there is a Camaro in this race, and I think he might have died. If not, he's behind me now. So, what I said about the Vantage in the previous video about it, and the video before that, still holds true at this rank. It's just a relatively alright car that can't turn. And that's exactly what it is here. At this rank, it goes about the same speed as my Senna, my 1771 Senna. But it's totally different in the sense that it has acceleration instead of handling. And I guess that's a better trait to have. Because you don't really need handling that much in multiplayer. And you don't really need it in general. Because, like, you got to realize that the best cars in this game are still, like, really bad handling cars. Like the Chiron Super Sport. And um, that's the only one. But that's against the point. So we beat that uh, Camaro, some Corvettes, Spadas, etc. This was, again, really old. And there's an F8 Tributo. You never see those anyway. Or anymore. Well, you never saw them to begin with. And as per usual, we got gapped by Camaro, because of course we did. But on Monaco, we have Nitro Duration, and since there's no broken 570S, I have a good chance. So, going into the tunnel, I've got about half a tank worth of Nitro on my second tank, and now I'm in the first one. I can only hope the Camaro does something stupid, but that's very likely, because Camaros are pretty stupid. And there we go, we've made the move and passed him. But I am out of Nitro. So I have to... I missed the Nitro Bottle. Wow. Good job, me. So now drifting around the corner. Get ahead of the Camaro. Oh, he wrecked. Yep. You know, the Camaro actually has a sharp drifting radius. So it's kind of weird when you drift with that car. Like, it's, it's really strange. So coming out of the corner, we have a pretty big lead in this race. So, um, yeah. Win is kind of inevitable. There's no way I don't lose. I, I lose. There's no way I lose this. Unless I did something really, really stupid, but I did not. And how do I know? Because this is a post-commentated race. This is why I like live commentary more. You get to experience the race with me. But, uh, it's whatever. So, there we go. First place, beating the Camaro. An F8 Tributo, a Veyron Super Sport. You get the point. The nitro-efficient car dominated the nitro-efficient track. Yep, look at all those. And on to the next race, on the Secret Lab. Victor, and there's also a Camaro. And how do I know there's a Camaro? Because the Camaro does the Camaro thing. Oh, never mind. It was a... Oh, no, it was a Camaro. I thought it was a GT Mark II, but no, it, it was indeed a Camaro that knocked me down. But on the secret lab, we have Nitro Duration. The other cars probably don't. And 1770 is a war zone, so other guys will KD each other. Like, see, I've already gotten two positions off of just knockdowns. And carrying on, people are running out of nitro, but my Vantage, with its, with its really good nitro duration, is not. And there goes two more people. People are just really bad at this track. It's kind of ridiculous. Like, really ridiculous. So, anyway, carrying on. That's a regular 4 GT, I believe. Yeah, that should be a regular 4 GT. Or that's the FA Tribute, I'm not sure. It is it not either of them, but I passed him for 5th. Now we gotta catch up to 4th and 3rd. How will I do that? Simple. Nitro duration. Oh, and they'll probably knock each other down. Let's see what happens. Yep, there you go. Knocked down. I think it was a Camaro. So, that is that. Fourth place in this race. Very, very mundane. Tis what it is. Beating out a, uh, a Camaro. Oh, that was a Venom GT. Wow. How did I not notice that? So, on to the next race on Cloud Top. Got Camaros, Corvettes, and a Via, a Veyron. Again, I don't know what's really in this race because I don't watch these insanely thoroughly. There's an FX Evolution, so that's something. And there you go, Vantage, bad drifting. I had to, you know, move out just so I don't wreck. Oh, and then I hit a wall. That That is spectacular. And there goes the FX Evolution. So guess who's in first place again? The Aston Martin Vantage. Don't know why this car won so much, but it did. It's not this great. I promise you, it's really not this great. It really isn't. Nitro barely going out there. Taking the line pretty sharp on the inside. I don't know if going low there is faster or not, or if it's better to go high, get more airspeed, and then land, then go faster. 
I just don't know. So, holding the lead out here, like breaking through the building. I don't know who's behind me, but I know we're beating them because there's no way I crash. Well, actually, I could crash in the vantage because it's the vantage. But nope, I do not. Oh, I almost did, but one micro drift saved the race. So, there we go. First place again after another guy wrecked. Half of the wins are just because of driver incompetence at 1770. Behind us was a 177. Very nice. Onto a race on Iceland. I don't know why we've gotten so many nitro efficient tracks on this on this test. But uh yeah. That is that sure is something. So, oh, there goes a Camaro. That was awesome. Best part of the video. Just taking out a Camaro. So carrying on. Oh, there goes the Veron. Oh, nope. There oh, yep, there goes the Veron. Didn't know what was gonna happen there. You never know what happens with um when two cars make contact in asphalt eight. You'll either knock them down, they'll knock you down, or you both will wreck. So now we have only an Avia in front. And the Avia also has a really good nitro duration. And also bad handling. But it has good speed recovery, and he stole my nitro. So this doesn't look too bright for the Vantage. Uh, and the Vantage is now out of nitro. What will the Vantage ever do? Flat spin, flat spin. Can we catch up? Can the Vantage catch the Avia? Can it? It's a battle of British cars. Can the Vantage do it? I doubt it because I'm taking those turns way too wide. But it is what it is. We still beat everyone else. And the best part is the Vantage is going to survive through here. Never mind because I don't know how to drive it. From the looks of things at least. So yeah. Came behind the Avia. Beat the Camaro. Beat the Veyron. And I think the other car was like a Corvette ZR1. Let's see if I was right. It was an FX6 Evolution. But we still beat those three cars. On to the next race, on Tokyo Reverse. I'm telling you, I literally don't know why there were so many Nitro Duration tracks. And I think I saw a Batista behind us, a Toon Batista, but I can't confirm that. In front, there was a Corvette ZR1 and a Camaro Independence Edition, but the ZR1 gets bullied, and now there's only a Camaro in front. And then he did that. That was very rude. But he went flying pretty high, so now I'm able to contend for the lead. There he is again. Did a barrel roll, landed on him, nearly wrecked there. That would have been pretty bad. So carrying on, the Vantage Nitro is going well in Tokyo. And I'm starving the other cars now. Because I'm in first. That's the that's the thing you do in first. You Nitro starve everyone. And that just simply builds your cushion. And I missed that Nitro bottle, which was a bad idea, but whatever. Got that one, got that one, and got that one. Starving them all. And since I go about the speed of a 1768 car, I mean, the car is tuned that 1768, so it has the speed to compete. Because this car doesn't have a fake rink like the Senna, where that car should be going a little bit faster than what it says. But this one, no, this is real speed at the rink. Okay, anyway, coming up to the last bit of Tokyo Reverse, can the Vantage survive? Can it? With half a tank of Nitro, and now basically two full tanks, and destroying everything. The Vantage will have to survive all the way to the end of Tokyo Reverse. Can it? Will it? I think you know the answer. So yeah, the Vantage's Nitro is just really good. It put such a big cushion between me and the other cars that I managed to actually get a really easy first after that. So this car is like only viable on Tokyo because of that. So yeah, two Corvette ZR1s. On to the next race on London. There's a Fordzilla P1. Uh, Ford GT Mark II, Lotus Avia, Corvette ZR1, etc. I'm just looking at seeing what's on the racetrack right now. Oh, oh, okay, that, that happened. Now I'm in fourth, and now I'm in fifth because of the wrecked car. That is brilliant. But on London, it's a nitro-based track, somewhat. The Vantage might have a good chance to catch up. We'll have to see. As we come to this corner... Double microing it is the fastest way to take it, but it's also harder with some of these bad handling cars, like the Vantage. It's way easier with cars like the Yesco Absolute. The Yesco Absolute is the biggest crutch car ever, and I love it because I'm terrible at the game, so... It's, it's a really easy way to get top positions with a car. And people just love that car. It's kind of crazy how much that car gets in terms of love. Especially when the bowline's basically the same thing, but like slightly worse. Okay, anyway, somehow we managed to get back to third place. 
despite whatever happened at the start, beating out a Corvette ZR1, but we lost to the Ford Zilla and the ZR1. On to the final race of the video on Dubai. Um, I don't. Do I really need to reiterate the review on this car? It's the same exact one as my 1680 tune. The car has competent acceleration, good nitro. It's kind of a boat, despite being a tiny Aston Martin. There is better options, obviously being the pro cars, but if you want to tune this car on the way to pro, I do recommend it. It's a great way to have fun with this car before you end up proing it, because proing it takes forever. So you could like hypothetically leave it at 1768. Then when you have all the parts to pro it, you can actually go ahead and pro it. So that's the only way I see it viable to, you know, leave it at this tune. It still is a good tune overall. I would recommend it. Anyway, thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more videos. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.